All right, in this video, we're gonna review how the custom tomb coming off the sliders on the eight inch octocopter, <laughs> on the eight inch octocopter tune looked like. And also, what does it look like when we turn off the gyro filters on such a big craft, eight motors, eight inches? You know, we're turning off the gyro low pass filters. How's that gonna look? Well, in this video, we're gonna check it out. So hopping up here and getting started, I'm gonna go and do some smooth forward flight and you can see it's much better. I'm gonna attribute that mostly to fixing up those props, replacing them with fresh ones so those chewed up tips aren't there as much. You can see in the flips and the rolls here, and we're not getting that kick. So if you look back to those rolls a little bit, you can see before we got in kind of a yaw kick and it was kind of jumping off. We weren't getting that anymore. And that was because what I was doing is increasing the pids on the yaw and pitch more than I was on the yaw. So that gives those two axes a little bit more priority in the pin zone. Now what you'll notice here is I'm gonna as you're going through the flight, you'll see that you're still getting some yaw wandering here and there. And that's what was prompting me in the next one here to make some further adjustments to the, the pit tune. So it looks pretty locked. Doing those switch moves. Do you get a little bit of hop when you're doing the yaws, and that's just larger prop quads. I mean, motor braking is always tough with quads and ESC technology right now. And the larger the, the prop, obviously the harder that is. You can see the, the nose was pretty steady there through the throttle, so I was pretty pleased with that. And pretty good there as well. Pitch is really locked. There's actually maybe just a little bobble on the roll, but not too bad. And those are extreme moves that honestly Nobody's going to be doing that with a cinematic camera on top. And the key here is that smooth forward flight. And remember, the camera on top also is going to have stabilizing software, and it's also soft mounted as well. Top there has some cool platform there, so that will help. Now this is a quick snapshot of just a smooth forward flight section of that flight you just saw, so you can see the D-term activities in the motors with all that filtering turned off. You can see how little those low pass filters were really doing. It's generally about the same. Now after that flight, there was still some stuff I didn't like. After you've noticed after the one invert uh, that came around, the, mo the nose kind of wandered a little bit on yaw again. So back to that yaw authority, bump those up 125, 150 here to give it even more locked in. And I wanted to see how it looked with bringing up the PD gains together. Again, holding that, I think this is about a 1.8 ratio, 72 divided by 40, it's about a 1.8 ratio. Just bringing both those terms up, so I had 40D, 55 on pitch. I ended up leaving the filters the same because I was pretty happy with those and looking at the traces like I just showed there. And uh, so yeah, we'll go see what that looks like. Now, I, since I did ditch it um, because my battery was pretty low, that uh, I just kind of like, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta land this right now. I did chip up a little bit of the one prop again. Again, if you wouldn't be doing that, those by blades are eight inch by blades or HQs. I think they do really well for the balance, but the tips are a little fragile. So that's one thing I noticed the HQ tri blades, they're a little tougher, but honestly, if you're not ditching it or crazy things with it, I'm sure they would be fine. So in this next flight, the props are a little chewed up again and it's a little rougher. Now, I, that's partly due to I increased the D terms, uh, so that adds to it a little bit, but not I don't really see that much. I think it's really just the props are chewed up a little bit more there and that's where you're gonna get some more vibes. But mostly look to see how the how locked it looks. You know, you're not gonna see as much of the, the wandering on the y'all access, things of that nature. All right, let's take a look at this flight, see if the adjustments made it any better. So we're not seeing any shifting when we did that roll. You definitely see more vibrations 
attributing that mostly again to the props getting messed up a little bit last time. It's crisp. And here. Notice we didn't see any of that nose wander on the yaw axis. That's because we increased the authority on the yaw axis with the pitch. I mean with the uh, P term and the I term. There, that's pretty good. I mean, the, there wasn't a lot of wander. You saw the vibrations, though. Now this prop wash performance there, pretty good in my book. Again, looking for any of the nose wander. I don't really see any. There again, prop wash check. I didn't see any. Saw a little bit of nose jerk there. Here we just saw a little bit of nose jerk there as well. So there, again, uh, we could in look at increasing the yaw even a little bit further. At this point in the tune, I really think that it's kind of becomes end user preference. So hopefully with this video and just some tips and tricks along the way that you know, the end user can kind of tweak it into his specific liking. Taking a look at some of the uh, jerk moves here. Still see some bounce on the sharp yaw moves. Not that somebody's going to be doing that for a flight, but that's that's a tough one. That's coming because props accelerate faster than they can decelerate, and it's kind of where you get those jumps. Same thing when you do like a full yaw rotation and then get off of it. How the quad kind of jumps up in the air. It's because the props really can't spin down as fast as they can spin up, so you get that differential in thrust. So the big thing on this video that it showed me is that the, we're going in the right direction with the yaw, increasing the yaw authority. Um, and that, you know, I really uh, ended up setting up three different profiles, so that profile one had to lower hit gains for the um, smooth forward flight kind of stuff seeing if there was any attribution to that in the noise and then but it had the higher yaw values and then profile two was this tune right here on this flight and then profile three was back on the sliders hopefully this video was a little unique with this eight inch octocopter and the tuning for that i also hope that there was some tips you could extract from this for your own tuning either a five inch all the way up to an eight twelve inch and you can really see that the principles that we use for tuning are really all the same doesn't really matter on the quad class again if you're interested in seeing the dissection of the logs in a little bit more detail to come to how i made some of the decisions on the tuning there were some tpa things there was also something about anti-gravity some other little tidbits if you're interested in that go ahead and check out the patreon and then i'll have a video coming up this week where we'll talk about that in more detail if you did enjoy this video please give me the thumbs up on it and please consider subscribing my son will ask you for the same very shortly thanks everybody and i hope this helped and like smash that like button please because then i if if you guys get me a billion likes, then I can make videos that are Fortnite. So, do you want Fortnite videos or this video? What's better? <laughs>